Hello everybody. Today, my uh, 20 minutes is going to be a little different. I'm actually walking in the building so the temperature out. I'm going in a little later today, so I'm uh, doing the walk in the apartment today. And I'm going to do stairs and walking. So it'll be a little bit different. Stairs is really good workout for you too, though. So what I want to talk about today is life in general. You know, nowadays people, me included, I, I try to do better, not always try to have all the new stuff. I'm getting better. And I still buy stuff that you really don't need. But talking about what's important in life and what we really need. Ah, lights out here. <laughs> so don't bother people but what I want to talk about is needs versus wants you know we live in a time where it's all about the newest thing gotta have the newest phone every year or new car every year, whatever it might be, everybody has something different they're going to have every year, you know, or maybe it's got to eat out once a week, or take a vacation more than once a year. Whatever it might be. And because of this, a lot of people were in debt. You know, the, it's almost like a greed. It's kind of like greed, you know. I have more and more. You know, I always wanted to get better stuff. Even if the stuff we have, there's nothing wrong with it. Always wanting to keep getting the next best thing. Run out and get it the moment it comes out. Not even thinking that that next best thing may not even work completely perfect. Then there's recalls and you're having to take time to get it fixed because wanted to get it when it first come out you know I think what we what we need we put ourselves through so much just to be the best of the best or keep up with the Joneses or and that what we really need what I look at nowadays yeah, I got new Xboxes, and I really didn't need them, but it ain't like I went out and got it when it first came out. It ain't like I'm, it ain't like I'm buying a game for it every turn, every game that comes out. My last system was a PlayStation 4, and... And I didn't get a PlayStation 5. For one thing, they're hard to get. Two, I'm not gonna pay someone 
exorbitant amount of money because I think it's wrong what they're doing. I mean, I'm a reseller, but I don't jack, but I'll never try to jack my prices up really high. As long as I can make a little profit, I'm happy. I'm never gonna overcharge a whole. I'll tell you one thing I'll never do. I'll never go over $100 over my cost. I might do 10 or $20 maybe, depending on what it is. And, you know, but I'm never gonna try to really overcharge people. I just think that's wrong. And that's what I'm talking about, you know. God wants us to live for means. He wants us to have everything we want. But he wants us to have everything within reason. Reasonable, you know. The only things we need, to be honest, if you have a roof over your head, a loving family, a job that pays your bills and a good car to get you back and forth to work. That's the only thing important in this life. Because when we die, when we die, God's not going to say, Okay, how many possessions did you have on earth? Oh, you didn't have enough possessions. I can't take it to heaven. No. He's going to say, where was your soul? Did you love your neighbors? Did you not? You know, one of the commandments says, don't, um, don't want what your neighbor has. I don't know exactly. Somebody can reply and quote, correct me. But no. The Lord's going to say, Did you love my son Jesus? Did you give your sin away? Did you do all you could? Were you a faithful servant? Did you go to church? Did you tithe? That's another thing. You know. Someone once said to me, you don't need to give your money to church. That's just a money thing. No. It's not the idea I'm giving it to the church. It's the idea that God sees. I'm doing what he asks. It doesn't matter what the church may do with it. It doesn't matter. It matters that it goes from my hands to the church. My tithe, my 10%, as the Lord commanded. That's the only reason I do it. Now, I'm not bragging that I get my 10%. That's not what this is all about. This is to explain to you. 
the whole thing about tithing is because the Lord asks you not what the church is going to do with it. It's doing what the Lord asks you. Doing your part as a Christian. It doesn't matter what happens. So that money goes out of your hands. It matters that you did your part what the Lord requests you do. But getting back to the main thing. As long as you've done what the Lord asks, that's all you need in life. You know, having other things is good. As long as it don't put you in debt. That you can't pay your debtors. You know, there's a right and wrong way to do it. The wrong way is, oh, the new phone's coming out. I'm going to run and get it. No. Yeah, the new phone's coming out. Let's look at your income. Let's look at your bills. Can you really afford that without going into more debt? Is that going to take away from your family? Is it going to take away from your kids? You know, I've seen parents that will say, Oh, I can't afford my kids Christmas. I can't afford food for my kids. I can't afford this and that. But yet they got in their hand a brand new phone. Or their house, they have a nice brand new TV. What's wrong with that picture? What have we really become? Have we lost sight that the true priorities are supposed to be God, family, job than everything else you know because of the way the world is we have turned away from God we have put self above all other priorities me included I've done it I am no more well, I should say no more was less guilty. I prayed for my sins just as you and asked forgiveness. I'm no better than anybody. You know, preachers that are on the pulpit, they're just like us. They've just had the calling to preach. It doesn't mean they're no higher than you and me. A lot of people put preachers on a pedestal and that's wrong. That's almost a sin itself. When you put any man up on a pedestal, and you follow them more than anything else, you are in sin. Because that preacher, no man on earth can help you get to heaven. They can help you. They can show you the way. But it takes you praying to Jesus. And someone can pray with you if you need help. Or you can pray right now. You can say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I'm not in the right place. Forgive me of my sins. Help me to understand my sins. I pray for the unknown sins. I don't even know I do. And let's say in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. And God will take care of that sin. It'll be wiped away. It's as simple as that. You know, people make it seem so hard. I mean, just the words is all you need. And then you got to have the faith and the strength and pray for the strength. Not go back to the sins of that life that you're going walking away from. If there's people in your past from that past life that still do the things that you used to do, maybe it's time to walk away from them. How you doing? You know. Thank you.
being a newborn Christian, you have to give up a lot. A lot of things you might not want to give up on. But with trust in God and prayer steady, you can defeat anything. I just pray by watching this. That they give them the wisdom they need to do it. Whatever it is they need to give away and get rid of. So, just a little prayer I wanted to do with you guys as you're watching. I hope this prayer has helped you and my words have helped you. And as you see, just like that, I pray. Yeah, I have to take another stop. But the Lord's seeing me through. I got five minutes to keep going. Yeah, I took a little stop, but I'm still moving. That's a praise to the Lord right there. I needed that little bit of help. I was done. I flew out of breath. I prayed. And the Lord gave me my breath and gave me the strength to keep doing this. And that's what this is about. I want to show you people. Stairs the hardest thing. I'm an asthmatic. I've been doing the exercise to help. And it's working. I'm working out, I'm getting healthier, I'm getting stronger. My lung capacity. I don't even need to check with the doctor. I already know. I'm putting in the work, I'm praying. I know when I go back, doctor's gonna say you're a lot better. Your lung capacity's a lot stronger. He's gonna listen. He's gonna be saying I'm doing better. I'm gonna be able to say the inhaler's helped. It's doing good for me. I'm taking the new inhaler. Which reminds me when I get done with this, I gotta take the inhaler. I did forget this morning. Not going in my regular time. Didn't forget things and had to think what I need to do. But the Lord's good. The Lord helps me. Do the other things I need to do. No, I'm not stopping. I could have said, I'm not so worn out, Lord. That's it, I can't do it. No. There's no I can't do it, Lord. The Lord. There's the Lord. There's Lord, give me the strength to finish the task I'm trying to do. Help me. Give me the strength to finish up. Walk with me, Lord. Push me up them stairs. You know, Lord will do it. You might think it's a joke. You might think this is all made up. Maybe he was just standing there for a few minutes, caught his breath and went on. No, I truly believe I prayed, and the Lord took care of it. That's why I'm moving. And yeah, I might take another break here in a minute to get finished, but I'm not stopping. Because if I stop, I'm saying the Lord can't do it. If I give up, why should the Lord help me? Yeah, I'm talking for another moment. Strength to finish up. It's the last couple of minutes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Just like that, I'm going again. I could have stopped at four. Just took a shortcut. No. I'm going to take my shortcut. I'm going to finish this out. I'm doing this for you people that might not think you can do it. I'm showing you when there's a will, there's a way. We're going to finish this. This race is going to be finished. Oh, Lord Jesus. He's my strength. And he's my wisdom. He gives me strength to finish this. In the name of Jesus, I thank everybody for watching this. And I just pray that y'all get something out of this. Everyone have a blessed day. I pray for your safety through the day. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for watching.